Welcome back to South Haven, Mississippi, buddy. Tonight, the home team Memphis Force continues their hard luck in this inaugural season, the World Series of Boxing, because they have no chance of winning the team competition tonight. But we've got two fights to go. Let's see what they can do uh, with the individual competition. Remember, this is a global competition. Let's show you what's going on in the Asian Conference. The Baku Fires have led all along this year. They're almost dominating that conference like the LA Matadors are dominating the Americas Conference with 18 points. Now, in the European Conference, what an interesting thing we've had all year. Finally, Paris United has pulled out in front by three points, get three points. They've been going at it with Dolce and Gabbana all year. But we're getting ready for the light heavyweights coming up. Let's get you up to our ring announcer, Chuck Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number four of the evening, a five-round battle in the light heavyweight division, representing the Mexico City Guerreros, fighting out of his hometown of Sundsvall, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, Kennedy Katende. <laughs> representing the Memphis Force, fighting out of his hometown of Seglin, Hungary, Please welcome a 2008 member of the Hungarian Olympic team and national champion, Imre Salo! And here's how they stack up on the head-to-head, -head. and as you can see, the weights uh, are for this Swello, physically Roberts bigger uh, as a fighter, too. He would have a, a huge advantage in that, and he's that kind of fighter, too. He's an aggressive style. He roughs, his, roughs up his opponent. He uses elbows, his hands. He pushes, pulls, and he punches. <laughs> no holding. The head up. Fair play. Good luck. Fair play. Roberto Saviti, a worldwide well-known referee, will be working this light heavyweight fight. He might have his hands full. We have not seen Kennedy Katende fight. I asked him how he got the first name Kennedy. He says, I'm Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't make as much sense as anything else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kennedy Katende. How'd he get his Andrew last Zello. name? How'd he get his last name? <laughs> Contende. He's a contender. Uh, there you he go. He could have been a contende. I was going to come That's up what with they that say. eventually. First <laughs> round schedule for five, light heavyweight division. Contende is in the Mexico City colors. And Zello, I'll tell you what, like I said, Zello, he will work you to death. Oh, this guy's a tough customer. He's a pro, and he is just, he's just nasty in there. I mean, he fights rough. He's hard. You're going to be in a fight when you face him. You face off with him, he's, you're going to get... Oh, left hand right, right, there. right there. Boom. And the mouthpiece comes out. That's a teeth guard. All these, all these boxers have teeth guard uh, where they... I have a mouthpiece in. Well, that tells you about I, the punch, doesn't it? I think his teeth are in it, though. What a shot. <laughs> that was a heck of a shot. Just a straight left jab that just boom. You know, What's this? What's crack this? Crack it out there. Crack. <laughs> That's counter, it. That's counter it. right over his cross. You know, every fighter is going to have an opening there because it, no matter how fast you are, there's an opening when you reach for a punch, you commit yourself. Kennedy is a left-hander. I thought he came out right-handed. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe that uh, mouth is, if his mouth is on the top, he's right-handed. It's on the bottom, it's left-handed. This is a guy, though, not to, you know, belittle what he's done. He's fought all over uh, Katende in Europe, Eastern Europe, Scandinavia. He was an Olympian for Sweden in 2008. Uh-oh, look at Emery. He's just oh. sharp. He's nasty. Oh, you know, he, he's also fought himself into condition. That's one yeah, thing. He looks a lot, yeah, yeah. A lot we, better this we, fight. You're right. We've seen these kids on this tournament, and they get better. They improve. They, they watch the, the, the fights. They see the other fighters. They learn. They learn from the other kids in this tournament. Look at these faint, these foot faints from him. We didn't see that before from Emery. You know, Emery's just, he's just hard-nosed. Zello's the one. Emery Zello in the purple trunks. What I liked about his demeanor before the fight, he's back in the locker room. He's reading a novel. He's good, good, every day, another day at the office. Got some reading to do, and now we'll go out and try to kick somebody's rear end. We'll see what happens. Kennedy the, 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 the book was, uh, was yeah. how, how to box, though. Oh, it was how to box. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he learned pretty well. Final minute of round number one. We're in the light heavyweight division. Memphis has already closed out the team competition tonight, but here we go. I tell you what, Kennedy Contende's decided to open it up a little bit. That might not be a very smart decision, but he hasn't scored yet in this first round because, you know, Zello's the type of guy that you try to get in there, you're going to pay a big price. Well, you actually have two fighters that are counter punches. They're both European style. Yes. They both fight from, from Europe, and they, they are notorious for being counter punches. They, 
they counter whatever offense you have. So they're both kind of figuring out their battle plans at this point. Well, let's just think about this. Oh, good Kennedy combination. Katande came to Mexico City on Monday from Sweden, turns around and goes to Memphis on Tuesday. They got here Tuesday. And so here he is. <laughs> How many time zones away? I can't even count them. Well, it's, it is definitely the other side of the world where he comes from. So he's normally sleeping at this hour. Trying to put Emory asleep now. Final 10 seconds. The Brown number one in the light heavyweight division. Stop. Marker. What? Round two scheduled for fight light heavyweight division in uh, contending offering up a prayer. He might need one if he uh, exposes himself against Emory Zello. You, know, you, you talk about the classic. Look, look at the look at the stance that Zello's got. He's able to move in and out. Eastern European fighters very much influenced in the last 10 years by the Klitschko brothers who really brought the Ukrainians and Eastern Europeans to the forefront of boxing. Now, Katende's going to try to use his speed a little bit more, I sense here. He needs to. He was very slow in that first, that opening, but for many reasons. Well, he wouldn't be here if he wasn't a good fighter and a tough customer. That's, that is for sure. To come all the way across the world to fight here in Memphis tonight by, via Mexico City says a lot about his credentials. Zello knows that he respects that and he'll be patient 10 time Hungarian champion Emery Zello now yeah. he's won a championship since we first saw him right right so he was, was the nine, he was the nine time world champion <laughs> uh, uh, Hungarian champion now he's a 10 time Hungarian champion doing double duty fighting back in his home country and those shots that contend he's throwing Sean are wide open coming over that left hand over the top like that. I mean, what could happen in, in case that doesn't work? Well, the shortest distance between two points in a straight line, he's going to the outside is contending. Uh, and he's staying on the outside. You know, the shorter fighter in this match, and he's more of the boxer, but that's his style. Half of round number two has evaporated. Well, Lead right hand cross. from Zello. Good cross right on the button. Zello's looking to close off this uh, circling action as best he can. And that wears you out, too, doesn't it, Sean? Trying to it stalk does. a guy. It does, but you have to slide over and cut off the ring. you got to make the ring shorter. Cut it off in half and then divide it in, in quarters. And you stop your opponent from doing that, making him fight, too. you got to get him. got to put some pressure on your opponent get him out of there. Oh, good cross. He's landed, landed that uh, right hand really well. Emory has in this second round. There it is again. Is that lead right? It was the left hand that knocked the mouthpiece out in the first round, but that right hand Zello found a home for it. Good right from uh, Emory. That's from the first Kennedy. one. Yeah, first one that Kennedy's been able to land. Well, Kennedy has some good skills as well. well he's certainly not. A, 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 he's certainly a confident fighter. <laughs> from talking with him earlier. A lot of fun talking to these young fighters. So excited to be here in the World Series of Boxing and the opportunity it provides. There's a right hand to cut Zello right there. Huge right hand. How about that? Punch. I have not seen Swello uh, staggered. He's not been stunned in this tournament, I don't, I don't believe. He just got cut in that fight that he had down in Miami against Siju Shabazz. And you like Shabazz too, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? These, all these guys are pretty good. Two pretty even round shot. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Your chin is up there. You can't pull back like that. You step around and you understand me, Amber? That's why he's getting okay. hit with that right cross. He's pulling Double back ball. with his head up. Yeah, he See what he's doing? Coach Bradley, Bradley is talking pull about. Pull you around, drop right? your hands and pull back like he does. That's a dangerous thing to do. Okay? You're taught to throw your hands up and go down low. No go for the retreat. Right here. Right there. Gotta, don't throw your head up when you back up. Well, let's hear from Coach Anthony Bradley. You heard a little bit from him there as he talks about his Hungarian champion, Emery Zello. Emery Zello, I suspect, the win out of him. I'm very high on him because of work habits in the gym, uh, his conditioning. And when I say conditioning, I don't mean just how he looks. But you got to eat, sleep, and live boxing. Even when he runs, he, he works hard and he eats right and he brings a lot, you know. To the team members, I mean, he talks with the guys, and he's a team player. And, you, and you'll see uh, what I'm looking for next year in Emory. 
Round number three, light heavyweight division. Emery Zello fighting for Memphis in the purple trunks. And in the green trunks, colors of Mexico, is Kennedy Katendi. And as might, might be so far, Katendi coming out, he's coming out with more uh, effectiveness each round. You know, he opened, up, round. he opened up a little bit uh, in the last round. He, he had some combinations, and Emery can't go to sleep in this fight. No, certainly can't. Uh-oh. Slip right there. That happens sometimes. You get that, that happened to me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, after you were hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was looking for my. I dropped my keychain. I was just looking for my yeah, keys. Is all. Joey said. Looking for my mouthpiece. Katende really using that circling action. Yeah. And, and I like this jab. The southpaw. Uh, uh, jabbing southpaw is difficult to face. We got you one. see that that left-handed stance. Now he's turning to the right-handed stances. Kennedy. We have one in attendance tonight, Michael Moore, oh, who yeah, was a left-handed, who first left-handed heavyweight champion, who worked that jab and, and got that title. Fantastic heavyweight. It, it was great from uh, Man Manessa, Pennsylvania. Fought out of Detroit for the Kronk for a while. Oh, good cross from both fighters. That was good work there from Emory right there. Emory came in with his, and then. Uh, Kennedy came back. This turned into an interesting fight, Sean. No, neither yeah. one taking charge now. We're in the third round, halfway through. That lad left, right, right there. That's what Zello needs to do. He oh, just got oh. caught with a right. Katende, you know, using his footwork. In and out, in and out. And styles make fights, right, Sean? We got a left-hander and a right-hander. And the left-hander's the mover and just likes to fight from the outside. And Zello, the European classic oh. fighter, just got caught with a little bit Huge. of left hand right there. This, to me, would be a big upset if Zello doesn't do this here in Memphis tonight. Absolutely. You know, and look at the look at the contrast in the tempo of this fight since that opening round. Look at how int the intensity has increased. Oh, right hand from Zello. Like and a counter back from Katende who didn't land quite as hard. Zello's picking up the pressure a little bit here. You know, he's not going to get frustrated, but he's saying, you know, i got to take charge in this thing. Emery Zello in the purple trunks, Hungarian champion, 10 times, 34 seconds left, round number three. Now, Contendi, he'll get in there and fight with you, too. Hell. You know, Contendi finally got loosened and warmed up, and he, he's cracking. There's a cross from him. He's landed that cross several times yep. tonight. And Look at how Emery carries that left hand low. Too low. Carries it too low. That's where he's been vulnerable. And that big right hand, as Contendi has seen it all night, Here's a guy, like I said, it's fought all over Ooh. Eastern Europe. Look at that, pulling back. That's what Bradley was telling him not to do, Emory to do. Yeah. Pull back with your head up and your hands down, you get clocked. Go. If you're like me. Round four, scheduled for fight, light heavyweight division. Uh, the Guerreros have already won the team competition tonight, taking the first three fights, one by forfeit. So they've got two fights to save some face, and Zello's uh, running into some problems with the style he faces tonight from Kennedy Katende out of Sweden. Now, I was listening, a good observation from Francisco Bonilla being a Mexican trainer, saying, you know what, uh, the movement, I want you to move so much. Come straight in and get some points, because he's not sure his Ooh, fighters are in his fight. Nice, nice. So he, he, he thinks that Katende has the quickness, but he just got caught with a little uppercut on the inside. But I don't know. What do you think about what Bonilla was telling his fighters? I think that's right. I think he's telling him the right thing. I, you know, yeah, I think this fight is still up for grabs. I do too. But, but it seems as though Emery is a little bit frustrated because he's been smacked a few times. He hadn't been hurt, I don't think. But he, like that right there, he just, lead he right. just get ca gets caught with with uh, what we call sucker punches. Punches you get hit with your hands down, or you're not paying attention, you're not focused. You're, you're not, you know, you're backing up with your head We've up. We've got a cut. We've got a cut, Sean. Wow. Under the eye of Zello. And there's some hard shots. Zello just got caught. Now, here's the guy, remember, he just on the break there. He got to get punched right in there. But the left hander, right hander, headbutt, the cut has opened up under yeah. the eye of Zello right here in round number four because Katende came out there and put some pressure on. Katende has earned the respect of everybody in this building tonight. Now they're going to stop and take a look. That's around the right orbital of that. Come right up. eye of Emory. We're Beth Serviti. Tell him to stay in the neutral corner over here while the ref or the doctor comes in to look at Zello. Oh, no and they would be going to the cards no if this thing was okay. stopped, but I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's okay. okay. And it's okay, I think. The, I think what the doctor is looking at is where the blood is going. The blood is not, oh, not into the eye, inhibiting the vision. They will many, many times you don't know that you're oh. cut. 
the, the only way you know is you sometimes you can feel the trickling down, but it doesn't hurt. There's no pain to it until the next day. More importantly, Jeez, how does up. Zello react to it now? Sure. Does it give him a bigger sense of urgency? Because Katende, I Katende's he's a tough customer. He's good. Man. He's, he's good. It's better than I thought he would be. In those first couple of rounds. Oh, like body shot from Katende. Now the right hand. And the Katende is the one coming from the other side of the world. He should be the one out of gas here, but it looks like to me, Emery is the one that's huffing and in public. A little windy, doesn't he? Minute five left, round number four. Contendi oh. came out and completely changed his style. He listened to Francisco Bonilla in the corner. He's not circling the ring anymore. He just came forward because I think Bonilla, being one of the great coaches in the planet for boxing, said, you know, I see something here. You need to take charge. No more of this walking around because you've got the quickness. And look, look at what he's been able to do. I mean, he's just gone become a guerrero, a warrior yeah. in there. What a right difference. hand. Oh, that left hand. If that had landed, it'd be good night. What a difference. Waiting Woo. for that opportunity, and Bonilla saw that. He saw the opportunity. Yep. That's why he had him come in. Now he's trying to take a breather. For good reason, is Kennedy. You know, he has been very busy this round. He's put on the pace. He stayed on the inside. He's landed good, clean, hard shots. He's worked the body well and the head well. And he has opened up the cuts. Oh, here's a good combination from memory. And you know what? You're in the final seconds. You got to take the playback. You want to steal the round. It looked like Emery almost turned around there for a few seconds to a left-handed style. What a round. What a round. You remember, remember back in that first round? Seems ages ago now. All right. Remember I was talking about November 26th in Miami, Shabazz and Zello. It was a close fight. We're going to take you back to Miami. And uh, Zello got cut in that fight also, but Sean, you remember that Shabazz uh, got dominated in this fight, and he's not, he's a different fighter now these days than we saw him back then. Well, well, both of them are, really, when you think about both of them are. Look at, look at in this fight how Emery kept on the pressure. He landed well to the body and to the head. He was fresher in this fight. These kids are getting beat down, too. It's a, it is a, this is a combine. They're, th this pace, this style, this there's so much to learn and there's so much to work on in these fights. He gets a victory on that night and he's hoping for the victory tonight. Emery Swello. I'm not so sure he's going to get I it. I don't know. That That's a, what, a, what a difficult round to score and to fight him. <laughs> Go to the fifth and final round for the DeSoto Civic Center in Mississippi. Uh, the fighter for Memphis has got an uphill battle in our opinion. He's been cut in this fight. Ooh. Oh, good left hand good. there from Zello. I think he knows where he is in this fight. It is wide open. Anybody's guess who might win it. But I tell you what, I'm impressed with the speed and the power of Kennedy Katende tonight. Very impressed. And look at this pressure from Kennedy. Oh, left hand and over the top. He's landed that several times. Wow. We're going to have a great fifth round here. <laughs> Digging into oh, the Emory. body, both fighters, head to head, toe to toe, center of the ring. Neither one's sure. There's a right hand that Katende just caught on the way in. Emory knows. Emory has to know he needs this. You know, this is the fourth and fifth round of the, are the toughest rounds in this tournament now because there are normally three rounds. Then we got blood under the eye of Katende. I don't know if that's off Zello or a new cut. Of, I believe it's Katende now has got a cut from a punch. And what a difficult task to fight through your own blood. Either fighter. Oh, they he just are. got wow, caught by good. left hand from Zello. Whoever takes this round might take the fight. And they know it. And Digging Kennedy. down to the body, Katende. Kennedy lands some too. There's a good right from, from Kennedy. He has found a home for the right hand. Oh, there's a right hand from Zello. Zello's left hand is low. With his left hand low, he gets tagged every time. This is the fatigue of traveling halfway across the globe. It's going to affect Kennedy in the final minute and a half of this fight. It's been a good round so far, I think, for Zello. But, man, they've been toe-to-toe -to -toe here at the center of the ring, giving the action we've come to expect here in the World Series of Boxing. They only got five rounds to get it done, so they might as well just take it all out in the middle of the ring. I remember the last round, Alan. It was Swello who came on at the end. The first, first part of the round was Contende. Minute 15 left in round number five. Both fighters looking a little winded. But who, was, who wouldn't be? Yeah, you know, they cram in 12 rounds of action into five. And no round, you can't take off any rounds. That's no, the great part no about time. the format. No time. You, you're, you're in a, you're in a barn room in there. Oh, good There's work. Zello. Good shots. Good shots. Outside Zello. punches from memory. And Kennedy comes back with his. A couple of tough rounds to score. Very tough rounds. But if you're Emory, you've got it. You need it here, I think. I think he needs it. He needs to score well. 43 40. seconds left. 
and he needs to. Well, how much you got left? I, I, can, exactly. I can say what he needs to do. It's easier said than done. They're taking a few seconds here to wind up for the last half a minute of this great light heavyweight fight here from South Haven, Mississippi tonight. And I tell you, Kennedy Melinda really impressed me. He's fast for a, for a light heavyweight. He's quick. He moves well. He has good skills. And he's thinking in the ring, too. Remember, go back to the... Oh, Ooh, good. Nice front. right hand from Contendi. Yeah, go back to that first and second, second round. He, he was trying to get Emery to punch himself out. Oh, oh another one. one. Another right hand from Contendi. That right hand has been very effective for Contendi tonight. What a fight. Good match. Both good match. fighters bloody. Both Spent. fighters... There's two Heart, warriors right there. Heart, guts, determination. Emery cut in that third round. We call this a gut check for these kids, huh? A Take gut a look, check. Sean. Uh, yep. this, uh, Determination. Look at this. Excellent. Point. Excellent. Just, you know that the clock is ticking. You know you don't have much time. You've got to throw punches, land as many shots as you can. By that fifth round, don't worry about knocking out your opponent, even though they look like they might be trying to knock out one another. Just worry about piling up the points. Good combination. Underneath, over the top. Kennedy. Emory Swello come in, coming in with his, but I was impressed with this young man tonight. I don't know if he got the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, in this bout number four in the light heavyweight division of the World Series of Boxing, the scores, Judge Bonet, 47-48, Judge Lorado, 46-49, Judge Levy, 47-48, the winner from the Mexico City Guerreros, Kennedy Catende. Well, I think that's about right. It was a close fight. Okay, as we heard from the middleweight who won early tonight, Durich, they didn't like the fact that L.A. went into their house and beat them 4-1. to one. The, only law, the only victory was a forfeit. They've come to Memphis tonight with a mission, and it doesn't get much better than winning every fight. So this thing has been closed out, but we'll see if the Memphis heavyweight, Cam Thompson, can save something tonight when we come back for the heavyweight division from near this.